Howdy folks, hope everybody's doing well this morning. Got another soap from Angoria Soaps. This one here is a barbershop scent. At least per my nose, I would consider this maybe a modern uh, barbershop scent as opposed to a classic scent. If you know what I'm talking about when it comes to scents, some scents are kind of light and some are kind of heavy. Not in scent strength, but just on, um, I guess you might say, on how they smell. This one here, I would say, is closer to a light or maybe a bright scent. Uh, it's not heavy by any means. It smells really nice. Um, I would. It gives me the impression, in other words, at least with my nose, that uh, it's pleasant. Uh, I don't know that a lot of people would find it offensive. In other words, I. It's a uh, like I say. It's more of I think a more of a modern scent. I know some people don't like the classic barbershop scents, and maybe this one here might be more up their alley. This is four and a half ounces, and that's what it looks like there inside the tub there. It smells really good to me. It's a nice scent. And, uh, of course, you know, trying to find a uh, aftershave that comes close to it. And I was thinking, um, Wet the Face was the first one that came to mind, the uh, barbershop scent. Then uh, I got to thinking, I, said, I think I've got another one that comes kind of close to it. And this one here is, by the way, of Sterling. And it was for a, a Wet Shavers meetup group uh, back in 2019. This is 30 South Shavers. Uh, this meetup group took place back then matter of fact it even tells you in august and uh before the pandemic broke loose and uh i thought this one here would play pretty nice with it it, it this is a pretty nice scent right here anyway uh, <laughs> you know i could fall off down in that hole with the scents and whatnot um i've got it whipped up here with a uh the shaven sailor this is a 3d printed brush handle and if you order one, I think it runs about 12 bucks, pretty inexpensive. I put a, a cashmere knot in it, and I, put, I might need to put just a little bit more water. It thickened up just a little bit, but this is a fairly wet uh, lather that I've got whipped up here in the fine accoutrements uh, uh, lather bowl here. That's what it looks like on the underside there. You can kind of see there's your thumb hole right there, which makes it pretty easy to, to hang on to. Uh, feel more comfortable with... Uh, when it comes to lather bowls, lather bowls that are like similar to this kind of sort of design where there's something you can grip and hang on to. And I do like this feature if you haven't seen that before. It, the brush just fits right in there. I am going to add a little bit more water to it. This, uh, an area that I live in here in Tulsa, the, um, um, the water here is hard. It's a hard water. And uh, nobody's uh, ever accused of being soft. <laughs> and it lathers just great here with this water. So as it goes for the soap base, you know, how does it work with hard water? Is it easy to lather? In my opinion, it works fantastic. Did put quite a bit in there. Uh, that is one thing I know I haven't mentioned in quite a while. When I put lather in my bowl to, I mean lather, when I put soap in my bowl to lather, uh, I put quite a bit of soap in there. It's one of those things that, uh, from uh, So Sharp David, is uh, I put plenty of soap in there and plenty of product for it to succeed. And that's how I look at it. I put quite a bit in there. If I was to use one soap only, and I would, yeah, I would approach it a lot differently than what I do. Because I would want my soap to last. You know, I've got so much soap now. Uh, in other words, uh, I'm already ready for the zombie apocalypse. In other words, there we go. It's fairly wet. It's moist. It's This is a good lather. I have a lot of fun lathering these things up. You may have seen uh, Chris's video, IMCDV. Um, in his video, he used this... Is an open comb. I don't know if this is going to show up very well. You know, there's, you see that it's an open comb. Most of us call this a plate, but if you go by um, the terminology from uh, uh, supply, this is a setting. This base plate, what we usually call a base plate, this is what they call a setting. And, and, and I can understand where they're coming from because you change that out for your settings. And this one here is a 3D printed <laughs> base plate. Or setting kind of goes right along with the handle. That's the reason why I did it that way. Anyway, it's 
what it looks like there on the underside. This is my first supply uh, razor. This one here is the stainless steel is polished. Uh, when I got it, it was referred to as a custom. Uh, this was the one that got me hooked. I like the look of the injector. I liked everything about it, but I was waiting for something like this to come along. And when it did, I, I jumped all over it. I This one here really caught my eye. Nice, shiny, and that's the new blade right there. But uh, yeah, this, this one here is the one that got me started on all this. But at any rate, uh, I'm gonna give it a shave. And also, I don't know that it's gonna show it, but it is flat which is what he said it should be. That blade is laying flat up again on the uh, on that 3D printed setting. There we go. And it also mentioned that you'll probably have to ride the cap or the face of the, the shaver more so. I want to put a hot towel to the face this morning, so we can go ahead and get started with the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, this is the a cube, pre-shaved cube, and this one here is a Christmas and it is getting thinner. It's a little wedgy right now, but <laughs> it's changed its shape a bit. But uh, this scent, I can still smell it. It It is amazing to me, something that sits out all the time. It's not boxed up or anything. It's just sitting out over here on the shelf, and it still retains its scent. To me, that's, that's awesome. Uh, and in case this is the first time you've uh, seen this one of these videos, um, it's eight ounces, starts out as eight ounces, runs you, what is it, I think about seven bucks, I think it is, six ninety five. I think. It's, in the grand scheme of things, it's, that's a good buy. Can't complain a bit. And I do have several of these. Because uh, when they, uh, when you get, when you see them, and it's say like, a, for instance, a crown, clown fruit. So if there's a pre-shave cube that comes out for clown fruit, you might want to go ahead and pick it up because they don't uh, they don't stay in stock, in other words, year round. So when you see it, you might want to get it. Uh, one of the ones that I don't think I have is a rabid banana. In other words, when that one comes back out, if it comes back out, I plan on getting one of those. I've got some of the others, and uh, some of these, um, if you're looking for a pre shave soap, he does have some tubes, uh, twist up, you know, and um, those uh, might be more in, uh, what you're, to your liking. I know when I first started out, I started out with a tube, and uh, it, it is pretty nice. It keeps your hands relatively clean, at least for a moment when you're applying it, then after that, <laughs> you do like I do here. Yeah, your hands are going to get a little slick. But uh, if you use just one hand, in other words, the hand that you don't shave with, unless you shave with both of them, then there you are. But your hands do get slick, which is not a bad thing. It's good. That's what your hands should be doing right about now when you're working with your pre-shave. I enjoy enjoying doing shaves like this. In other words, testing out a blade that somebody sent to me, or this one here, uh, not only the blade, but as well as the, uh, basically the shaver. When you put a plate like that on there, it's it's gonna be a different kind of shave. This one here being an open comb uh, injector. I don't think there's another one out there. I don't ever remember seeing one, even the way of vintage or modern. So to me, this is like a, gonna be a pretty cool shave. It's uh, one of those things that I think that is important to, for some people, in other words, that aren't exactly interested in injectors, that there is a company out there that is innovating, trying new ideas that's out of the box, something different, trying to improve on the product, or make changes to it to where it uh, will appeal to more folks, so on and so forth. You kind of get the idea. And it's, I think it's good for folks to see and understand that this is going on. Uh, in other words, not necessarily, it is behind the scenes and what supply is doing, but they're sending out to folks like me that will test it out and give their honest opinion. And since uh, they're sending out to a number of diff different folks, 
you're going to get difference of opinion. In other words, some like shaves them that are more aggressive and some like them to be a bit more milder. And if you have been able to follow along or haven't been able to follow along with supply, uh, there's a number of things that took place to, uh, to get this started. And it had a lot to do with the fact of uh, enjoying injector uh, shavers as well as the fact that trying to tweak it to where it would work for folks that's got sensitive skin. And uh, to me, that's pretty important because uh, not everybody's going to have, uh, for my skin, it's kind of, to the degree, it's kind of tough. I've worked outside for many years, so yeah, it's been used to a, a little bit of abuse. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get started here. If I remember right, because it was, I watched Chris's film, he was talking about it, and I think If you go, you refer to it as the instructions that came along with this, the video. It was mentioned about that, about writing the cap a bit more than what you're used to. Because this, um, this part right here is somewhat bigger. It's larger than what you're typically used to seeing on an injector. And I have to say, if you looked at 3D printed items this is pretty darn smooth um, they, they print rather well but in other words it's not quite as the exacting standards of something that was produced in metal let's say and I have to say though this did pretty well I didn't have any problems loading the blade I'm accustomed to loading the blade manually it's just something that I do and I think it had a lot to do when I first uh, got this razor is I had plenty of um, uh, mini hair shaper blades. In other words, the dispenser didn't have the key. So I would just take the razor apart, use my mini hair shaper blade, and put it in there, and was using those blades. And saving the blades I had in the dispenser that has the key for those injectors that I couldn't take apart and put in there, which in other words, all the vintage ones. Pretty smooth. Now going on the assumption that I'm getting my angle right, which it seems to be, it is leaving some soap behind, which is uh, a good thing. Because if you're a person that happens to do a different style of uh, shaving, like buffing, uh, there's enough of residual slickness, enough, enough soap behind to to do that sort of thing without the risk of getting irritation. And uh, typically also one of the things uh, that is a plus for an open comb is that if you're not an everyday shaver, so let's say you go you maybe like three days so your whiskers are a little bit on the long side with an open comb it allows it to, uh, how do you say, flow through there, stand up a bit more than let it can push down with a safety bar. Just thought out there about open combs. The scent does smell good. At least per my nose. It is pretty nice to have um, an artisan that makes soap that works well with hard water. And I don't know. He's in uh, Northern Virginia, if I remember right. So maybe they got hard water up there. I don't know. <laughs> in other words, he had something good to work with. In other words, that's <laughs> hard water example. <laughs> this is pretty darn smooth. So in other words, if you had shades that were too aggressive in the past with a vintage shaver, this might be up your alley. And just because it's open comb doesn't mean that it's aggressive. At least with what we got working right here, it is not. Seems to be pretty good. We'll find out at the end of the shave on how efficient it is. At least with, you know, with what I'm doing here. I have to say, I do appreciate the fact that people are still... Like say innovating, 
trying to improve on something that's been around as long as uh, some of these shavers have been around. I'll uh, have a video in the future with a uh, one of, to me, I, as it goes for amazement of uh, engineering, uh, bulletproof, still works today. Uh, the Jim Micromatics, in other words, that's a single edge shaver. And those shavers are still around today. We're shaving just fine, just like quote unquote day one. And some of them are still looking just fantastic and never been uh, replated or anything like that. When it comes to injectors, there's hordes of uh, Schick injectors. You'll find some PAL injectors out there, the Injectomatics, in very good shape. But uh, some of your typical Schick injectors, the E's and G's, they look a lot alike. So you got to know which one's different, uh, which one's which, because uh, the E's are the more aggressive ones and the G's are the more, uh, uh, they're milder, let's say. And that seems to be, the G's are usually what people are after. Because it is a, they, you get a smoother shave with those. E's are very, uh, you definitely can feel the, the blade. And if that's your sort of thing, that would be the direction you'd want to go. But the, the two shavers look very close to being the same. In other words, you have to know what you're looking for and to be able to tell the difference. On some of my older videos, I've got a, some of that information. How you can tell them apart, links to various websites or whatever the case might be where this information is at. Hopefully it's still up and running. It's been a while since I visited it. Man, this smells good. Sometimes when you get a barbershop scent, you just don't know what you're going to get. The artisan's, you know, take on a, a barbershop scent. This one here is pretty pleasant. I have to say, though, this uh, setting <laughs> is pretty easy to use. I don't know if the idea is to if the idea is to uh, have more than one kind of uh, open comb setting. Uh, that might be an idea because not everybody is going to want one that's uh, how can you say as mild as this one is, and it's not that it's not cutting or doing an efficient job. It's just very mild fitting, and some people like to feel that blade a bit more than what this one is. It's very smooth, but it is using the new blade. And um, maybe using a Persona blade, for instance, you might get a different shave feel with it. And I sort of have expectations that when this particular setting comes out, the shave feel might be a little bit different because it's not 3D plastic. It'll actually be metal. At least that's my expectations. And if that takes place like that, that the, uh, because of that weight and whatnot, it might actually, you know, feel different during the shave. All right. Three passes. I have to say this, the soap does feel pretty creamy. I like this soap. Efficiency. As it goes compared to the two dot uh, setting that I usually will go with, it's it hits in the middle of the road, not too aggressive, not too mild, and seems to be pretty efficient for, for me. I uh, have to say that I'm pretty familiar with injectors. Um, and it couldn't, you know, this was my first time, so you have to take that in consideration. Uh, if you're thinking BBS, I think I'd have to shave with it a few more times to see if I could get closer. But overall, it's a fairly efficient shave. 
that's just a little bit down here but that you have to keep in mind first time using it may take a few shaves to how you say dial it in overall though it's, it's pretty smooth shaver and i think that's where he's starting out with it starting out with something smooth and uh He's got sensitive skin. Keep that in mind. <laughs> and the way I look at it, yeah, that's where I would be going. I would be dialing, you know, that sort of thing in because those folks, I guess you might say, uh, need all the help they can get in getting a very smooth, comfortable shave. Feels great. I mean, hey, works for me. I don't mind a shave, a shave like this from time to time. Every once in a while. I'll, uh, how can you say, break out a, uh, a shaver that's got more, uh, uh, I guess you might say, blade feel. Feels a little bit more aggress aggressive. But I do like smooth, easy going shaves from time to time. I'm trying to find some stinging. <laughs> I can't find it. <laughs> no, I don't have any stinging this morning. What can you say? And for me, that's another thing that I do enjoy about shave. My shaves is I get it to the point where I don't have a whole lot of stinging, uh, a lot of weepers. Uh, I can, I remember those days, you know, and I'm I don't want any more of those. <laughs> those days are not fun. Um, where you've got like a strawberry patch, especially right here is where I used to get them really bad. Uh, a lot of weepers right there. It, it very uncomfortable throughout the day. In other words, it's burning, stinging. It doesn't feel good. You know, you got to shave the next day. I was in the army. In other words, and you shave every day, and it's just like, oh, this is yuck. Of course, back then when I was in the army, no, no internet, no YouTube, nothing to help you get an idea on what to do, not to do, what to use, not to use, whatever the case might be. Yeah, that was not available. And you and the guys were just in the same boat. Everybody's using the same can of stuff and the same razors and everybody's having a lot of the same issues. And I say everybody, a number of us did. Uh, the small group that I was with, you know, we were all, <laughs> we were all like that. The peppermint I added to the, my uh, witch hazel is really nice just perfect I don't know that I could ever do that again but get just the right amount of uh, peppermint in there in other words not over the top just the right amount if you're familiar with sterling they got all kinds of scents I've got a link down below to their scent descriptions uh, when they're seasonal standard year-round kind of thing when they come out when they don't but there's your plastic restrictor right there I almost went with uh, Italian Barber's uh, Blue Barber Shop. I almost went with that one. Been wanting to use it too, so that was kind of hard, but I knew this one here, scent-wise, seemed to work better with my nose. Man, this smells wonderful. This is good stuff. You won't be able to find this on the website. This is a, you'll have to do the buy, sell, trade type thing in order to find it and wish you lots of luck in, in getting it because I don't know that there'd be very many people wanting to turn loose of it. It's a pretty nice scent. It is really nice. You're going to be smelling good today. I've got a meeting later on today. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shades to you.